what's up what's going on how's it going welcome back to my channel i'm your host steve ricardo smash the like uh subscribe right there that'd be awesome thank you so much for returning so today we are going to talk on the topic of uh happy sunday happy sunday of promoting a show whether you're a dj whether you're in a band or a solo artist doing an acoustic show doing a cover band whatever it would be whatever you want people to come to your event here are some five simple steps, five, to at least show the effort that you want people to come out and, you know, draw some people so you're not playing the crickets. So let's start with number one, number one, number one, Facebook, social media. So we got Facebook, we got Instagram, we got TikTok, we got whatever social media platform you're on, put a post out. So start with that, put a post out, you've got an event coming up. You're excited, you want people to come out and check you out your show, your event, whatever it be, start there. Start posting that that's what you want to do. So then you can share it with all your friends, you know, hey, look at me, go from there. So number one, start with your social media platform, okay? Super simple. All right, write it down, number one. Number two, number two. So to get that ball rolling, once you've done your, you know, your messages and sent them out, get a poster made. Something like these, right? Something flashy, something that just gets people's attention. Clear, clarity, where you're playing, the address, the date, the time, the ticket cost. Put all that stuff on there and make it legible. Make it so people can see it. If they got to start looking, where's the date? Oh, there's the, oh, there's the tickets and then there's the date. Uh, venue, venue, venue. Make it clear. Make it so they can see it. Walk by and go, oh, date, bingo. Nice big writing. August 20th at the Princeton Pub. Uh, tickets are 20 bucks. The door is the same price. Show starts at 8. Get there by 7. Drink special. Here are the bands. And anything else you might be having, like a free, you know, guitar giveaway or there's a drink special. Hey, we're introducing our new drink that night, whatever it would be. Make it clear. Even the band names, right? I get it. Death metal. Your stuff looks like twigs in the wintertime. Cool. Those who are in it, understand it. Those who are not, that might be want to check out your genre. Maybe put the band name underneath. So, there you go. Put a poster. And that poster will now take you to go to the event. So, you're going to go to the event. Now, why are you going to go to the event? Well, if you play there, cool. You're on board. If you haven't played the event yet and it's in your hometown... Go take them some posters, right? Go ask the staff, spend the night there, go have a couple of drinks with the band members, go check it out, you know, okay, hey, there's a stage, cool, they have a stage, you know, okay, what time do you want loaded? in? Ask these questions while you're there, you know, hey, we're playing on the 20th, uh, what time are we supposed to be here? And someone in the bar will tell you, you know, don't get there at 4 o'clock or 4.30 or whatnot, get there at the time they suggest, hey, you know what, load in's at 7, cool, 7, we'll be here for 6.30, we'll get some parking, we'll have load in. Um, put up some posters, go on a night where there's some bands that are in the same genre as you, that would really help. Um, if you're death metal and you're going to go see a reggae band, it's a bad idea. If you're a reggae band, you're going to go check out a death metal band, that's a bad idea. So find the happy medium between both and then go out and promote, go see a couple bands and see who plays there, you know, often. If it's out of town, not a problem. Um, if you're planning a tour and it's out of town, guess what? Yes, find a street team. Find somebody on your list that's part of your band, that you know, one of your fans, and just put a post. Hey, does anybody live here? We're playing there at this date. We're looking for some help, you know, and then people will start help, you know, cover the, 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 the photocopy charges, you know, whatever it is, or when they, you know, when you get to the show, give them a free t-shirt or, you know, give them something, right? But street team is awesome because they can help you promote your band away from where you are, so... Always to remember, if you're doing a small tour, ask for a street team and ask for some help. So, all right? So, go visit your uh, establishment. Cool. Number four, flyers. So, those are the little things that, you know, back in the day, there were an eight and a half by 11 page, and I usually just chop them into four, and I make little flyers of the poster. Real simple. <coughs> put the, uh, the band, you know, so four quadrants, put the band name, the venue, the date, fit it all on there, real simple. And nowadays, if you've got the ability, uh, if you can do it and it's free, and you got room on your flyer, put a QR code. What's a QR code? It's one of these things, QR code. 
they're free and basically you go to your website your video a song something that you want to promote and then you take that uh, URL link and then you type in Google free cure code generator and you'll find them there's lots out there pop it in and they'll give you this QR code that you take the snippet of or download and slam it on the flyer so when you're handing them out people can grab their phone and go oh there's a new scan here for new video or scan here for new song right and that's what they want to do so you scan there or they do and they go oh cool here's a video bam promotion free didn't take you any time at all it's a lot simpler than it was maybe 20 years ago but then again 20 years ago we didn't have competition we just grabbed flyers and you went to the venue and you talked to people today people are afraid to talk to you i noticed that they don't want to talk to you and then when you give them a flyer they're like oh What's that? It's a flyer. Take it. You'll like it. It's a show. We're coming up. Social media is great for certain things. And don't forget to put your event on social media. Create a page. And then that's where you can dump your poster on there. You can start invitations. But you already knew that, right? So create the event page on your Facebook page. So back to the flyer. Uh, when I go to concerts, I'll print out like two, 300 flyers. Because remember, on average, about 5% would money even come to your show from doing that. Yes, it takes work. But if you keep doing that and they keep seeing you being active, going to different shows or concerts and handing out flyers and stuff, that's a good way to get the fans to come up because, you know, these guys are persistent. Put the QR code on there so they can see your video and hopefully it doesn't suck and they can come to your show. That's really what's important is making sure you fill the seats. Club will book you. If you're not putting people in seats, it's going to be a hard time for clubs to book you on a Friday, Saturday because their objective is to make money. They want to sell alcohol. They want to sell food. They want it to be awesome because they got to pay the staff that's working that night and the sound guy. So if you know you're going to be making money, great. If you don't know what's going to be happening, don't pay for a $250, $300 buddy sound guy. Find a guy that's within your price range. And there's lots of guys that'll do it for 50 bucks or ask one of your friends, hey, can you run the board? You know how to. But it, it kills me when I see bands paying these high prices when they're not making anything at all. So at least, number one, put your eggs in a basket and promote your show before you go broke. And everyone, uh, the sound guy gets paid and the band members don't. And they're like, what the hell, man? You're paying the sound guy. Well, stop hiring these expensive gun guys until you know you can fill the seats. They are the best. The amazing sound guys at that price, at any price, are fantastic. They do a lot of work to make sure you sound good. So do pay them. But if you're just starting out, do you want a $1,000 sound guy? No. Start with one of your buddies who knows the songs, you know? Hey, Jim, you want to learn how to do a set? Ask your wife, you know? That way she can help out and she feels part of, you know, helping out. Whatever. Close friend, anything. Wife, daughter, someone that can come to the show. And do that. So there you go. Flyers. What's next on my list? Yes. Like I said earlier, go see some shows. Uh, if you know you're playing at a venue you haven't played for before and you're watching the calendar of who's coming up and they got a couple metal shows or whatever fits the genre of your music, go check out a few shows. That way you can schmooze, talk to the other bands, um, get to know them a little bit because they might have shows coming up that they need a band for. And the first person they'll talk, you know, think about it is you guys because you were there, you were talking to them, and so now they've got your band name in their head. Ah, oh, remember XXX, whatever. So yeah, go see some local shows and uh, try and make your way in. Just, uh, it's pretty simple. I know there are five simple steps of doing this, but over the, I see a lot of bands that do not do maybe even one. They contact the promoter, they get a show booked, that's it. They think the club's going to do all the work. No, you ain't going to do all the work. That They won't. You need to. And have everybody in the band bloody do it, not just one person or two, you know. Um, make sure your drummer, make sure your singer, your bass player, your keyboardist, your trombone, your everybody who's in that band, if they want to go from here to here, they all need to chip in. Because what's going to happen, and I've seen it so many times, band does really well, everybody gets paid, and the one or two people, three people in the band are like, dude, we bust our balls, and you're going to pay the celloist? The same amount that we're doing the effort and all they're doing is sitting at home and eating bonbons and doing nothing hell no 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 so yeah everyone's got to do an effort 
do little social media videos, that really helps too. And a little added perk, make some little videos. But yeah, your flyer, your event page on Facebook, go to the club, promote, go see bands and promote, and uh, just do it. Just do it, okay? So hopefully this helps. Comment down below what works for you, because what works for you might be something that might work for another band. So comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say and, and what your tactics is to get people in the seats of the venues you're playing at. Very important. All right. I hope this helped. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching this. I'll have some more tutorials coming up shortly. Um, get a lot of questions on things like that. So, uh, yeah. And while you're watching this, if you do live in the Chilliwack, Langley, Mission area of British Columbia, um, I am playing a show August 9th at uh, Flashbacks Brewery in Chilliwack, 15 bucks. I'm playing with uh, Dwayne Watson, James Stanway, and myself from my new release, El Diablo Mio. That's how you do it, making a video. All right, cheers and cheers. Hope this helps. All right, love y'all. I've been Steve, you've been great. Ciao.